Four. Well, overall, it's been a fairly quiet day as advertised. We saw a little bit of rain shower action, very light in nature near the Indiana Michigan border. Really, the big thing today has been the cloud cover a little bit cloudier than what we were anticipating. But overall, not a bad day today. However, we're going to start to see the rain chance increase so over the next 6 to 12 hours. We've got this pair of weather systems off to the west. This one is going to continue to the northeast, as is this one. But that's moving towards us. So that's going to increase the chance for some rain and some thunderstorms. You can actually see some thunderstorms firing off in northern Missouri over into Nebraska and the Kansas region. Some severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings associated with the system. I'm not anticipating that level of severe weather. However, there is a low end risk for severe storms as we go into tomorrow morning. So that's about the time frame that we could see this line move through producing some stronger thunderstorms. Everybody in the dark green under a level one of five risk, a very low end risk for severe storms. But if storms do turn severe, we could see some small hail and some gusty winds at times, along with very isolated spots of heavy rain. So here's what that looks like on your future track here. We're going to continue to be dry through the rest of the evening. So if you have evening plans, you do not need to worry about taking the umbrellas with you. It's going to be a very nice evening. Actually a great night to be outside and maybe eat dinner. But as we get closer to 2, 3 a.m., you can see rain showers and thunderstorms moving right towards us. There's a lot of orange and a lot of red on this map, giving us an indication that there is some energy to work with in the atmosphere at this time. However, when it's dark out, we're typically not expecting to increase the energy in the atmosphere. So storms should be weakening throughout the overnight in the early morning hours. That's the good news. And you can see by about 5 a.m., it's already off to the east of I-69, the main line is. And you'll just see some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the morning. So the time frame right now looks to be about 3 a.m. or we'll say 2 a.m. to about 8 a.m. for the first round and then maybe a few very lingering isolated rain showers on a Sunday late morning early afternoon but I think most of your Sunday afternoon should be dry and then Monday brings with it another chance for rain and thunderstorms this weather model here doesn't do a great job in my opinion of modeling what we can expect however it is showing some of the green in the right time frame that we're expecting about 2 p.m. to 10 p.m on Monday is when we've got the best chance to see rain and thunderstorms pop up. So how much rain could we see through Monday? Well, like I mentioned, areas that get caught under the thunderstorms could see some heavy rain upwards of an inch at times, but most everybody will stay in between about a quarter and a half an inch. So your first alert weather app forecast for tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow is a good day to have the app installed and on your phone and ready to go because you could be able to track the rain showers as they move out of the area. We'll see drier conditions as we get into the afternoon and temperatures are staying warm. We'll stay in the upper 70s for those highs on Sunday, but we will eventually start to cool off at least a little bit. You can see those shades of red getting a little bit lighter Tuesday. That's an indication that we'll see about average temperatures on Tuesday. So a high of 74 is expected for Monday, 73 Tuesday, 71 on Wednesday, but we're not losing the 70s. That's the good news. Amelia is doing a little dance here and I will caution us as well Friday and Saturday we could see the chance for some rain showers possibly some thunderstorms but our weather models aren't in agreement quite yet so I've mentioned it but right now my confidence is low that that's going to happen. I'm just so happy for these 70s <laughs> honestly I can just do a little happy dance. It, it feels nice at the rock right? It feels nice. Mm -hmm. May is here <laughs> coming up in spring.